Hey everybody, welcome to Click3D. This is the program where we talk about photogrammetry and how you can use a digital camera and some software to create some realistic looking 3D models. Another effect that you can get on a camera is a decentered lens. And so if you have a camera body and you have it attached to the lens, well, you can get a problem when this is not centered, like right in front. So uh, let me click on this. What happens if during the manufacturing, there's a slight shift of the lens inside? Fortunately today, with machining tolerances and everything else, um, you know, they do a pretty good job of holding these things pretty steady, but they're mass produced as well. So way back when in the old days, they would make metric cameras and those cameras were manufactured to a very, very high uh, tolerance, high degree of accuracy. But today, because these are, you know, there's plastics and metals and combined stuff that's being put together here, um, they can shift. And so they may not be perfectly centered. So the lens relative to the uh, camera body and relative to the sensor that's inside uh, makes a difference. So decentering can be an issue and it's something that we can solve for by doing a camera calibration. There's also uh, a different alignment issue, which is like tangential distortion. So if I have a lens that's on the camera body, uh, let's say I bump it or I hit it or something like that, and all of a sudden it kind of is kind of moved up a bit or moved down a bit. Well, if you change the position of the lens relative to the sensor, well, then you're going to be shifting the image on the sensor. And so that's going to cause a problem when you want to take measurements. So all these alignment issues, you know, any small adjustment here, that's going to have some problems in terms of um, uh, getting a true image, okay, or, or getting the best quality image that you can so that you can take measurements.